today we're going to talk about the five big huge mistakes you can make in relationship to the carnivore diet if this is your first time here on my channel thank you so much my name is alia i'm an advocate for the carnivore diet a low carb diet and doing the proper human diet because it has helped me in so many ways and i had no idea so i want to advocate it because i would like to help other people have similar results and uh, lead a happier and healthier life so today these are the five biggest mistakes a person can make in relationship in my opinion to the carnivore diet maybe i'll change my mind later and make a new video but this is it right now i'm going to give my number one biggest 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 mistake at the end of the video so stick around and find out what that is all right number five big mistake you can make on the carnivore diet is actually not eating enough food. If you are a yo-yo dieter or have been dieting for years, you're probably used to the fact of eating not enough food. Uh, a calorie restrictive diet, um, you know, if you want to lose weight, you have to eat smaller portions. So you're used to like starvation sort of diets. And that is not at all what you do on the carnivore diet. You need to eat enough. You need to eat sufficiently and you need to eat until you are comfortably stuffed every single meal comfortably stuffed because if you eat enough and you're fully satiated you're not going to want to snap make it to the next meal and you're going to feel full and feel great so part of that so i'd say 5a 5 5a eat enough fat the carnivore diet is not like a lean meat diet Carnivore diet is like a fatty meat diet you want to eat lots of fatty meats on this diet you're not eating lean meats you can eat chicken if you want you can eat chicken breast if you want but you got to add enough fat to it it's definitely not a lean meat sort of thing. I love the BBB and E diet, which is a version. It is the carnivore diet, but it's simply eating beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. And I think that that is very helpful to get somebody going in this way of eating because it's very simple to follow. All right. I think eating too much dairy will ruin your results or could ruin your results on the carnivore diet or it could stall you on the carnivore diet. Um, for some people, People have cheese allergies or dairy allergies. So I would be weary of eating a lot of cheese and using cheese or dairy more than just like as a condiment on the carnivore diet. I've heard people say it stalls them. I've heard people say they have other issues with dairy. So dairy technically is carnivore, cheese or heavy whipping cream. Me for that is butter. But if I eat too much cheese, I have allergy flare ups. I love cheese. Who doesn't love cheese? Who doesn't love heavy whipping cream? But that could be problematic for you on the carnivore diet. So treat dairy as a condiment and not as like a main thing or a snack. Go back to the last point I was talking about, eat enough. And in carnivore diet, a huge mistake is not having like a plan of action or a plan of attack that you wanna follow. Like how are you gonna go about doing this? Uh, what steps are you gonna take? These are some ideas that I would have as your plan if you wanna start the carnivore diet. One would be like get everything that's not carnivore out of your house. Of the people that might not be possible, but the best way is get all the stuff out of your house and part of the plan should be tell your family and friends that you're doing, you could say carnivore diet, but that's gonna lead maybe to many questions. You could say you're doing an elimination diet for 30 days and uh, just because you're trying to heal some things in your body. And that usually answers all the questions and it just makes it so other people are aware of what you're doing. It'll make your life a little bit easier if people understand what you're doing. Put on your plan and just have a plan of attack and follow it. But my two main things are like, part of the plan should be get the food out of your house. Don't have that stuff in your house. If you have that, if you have non-carnivore foods in your house, specifically carbohydrates, I mean, if you have vegetables in your house, you probably won't eat them anyways, but like starchy, yummy, carbs, sugar, you gotta get all that stuff out of your house. Don't have things that will trigger you. Anyways, that's the that's my main advice, but figure out your plan of attack. You have when you're doing something drastic like this, a huge change in your life, uh, like a support system. So luckily there's crazy people like me on YouTube and a bunch of other of us that are here on YouTube and we can help you be your support system. We do live streams. I do live streams. I try to do one at least once a week um, with other carnivore and low carb advocates. We're there, we can answer your questions. We could chat, we can joke. You just, it's better if you have more than one person on your side especially if nobody else in your family is like working with you on this. You need to have that team. You can also find people on Facebook, uh, carnivore groups. There's a group called Meat Sisters. Find that on Facebook. That's a great group of all females doing the carnivore diet and uh, supporting each other. Before we continue with this video, I would really like to know, one, what mistakes do you think people can make on the carnivore diet? Please let me know in the comments. Also, if you find my content helpful, please feel free to subscribe like and share subscribe right now Tink. 
and uh, turn on that notification button. Thank you so much. Here is my number one reason why people fail on the carnivore diet. Biggest, 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 biggest mistake you could possibly make on the carnivore diet. Not even trying it. Don't even give it a chance. Just think that it's crazy and not do it or be scared because you've heard all of these bad things about meat and you've heard all of these bad things about eggs and, and uh, you know, seed oils are heart healthy and butter is going to clog up your arteries. Yeah, no, not true. Uh, what I got to say about this is we've been eating for millennia. Human beings have been eating meat for a millennia. Now all of a sudden it's bad. How do we survive so long if our main sustenance was animal products? Only in the recent past have we started to eat the Doritos, Pizza, Domino's, Burger King, McDonald's, White Castle, Pizza Hut, etc. You name it. By the way, foods that are made in a box are super addictive. Tell me if you can only eat the serving size of an Oreo cookie, Oreo cookies. Uh, tell me if you can eat all, only three Doritos or whatever the portion is. No, you eat the whole bag. You eat all the cookies. And these are the main problems. I am not one who's going to be like vegetables are 100% bad for you. I seem to have issues with vegetables and so I stay away from them. It's absolutely the garbage that's created by big food in food factories by food scientists that get mass produced. That is the biggest problem of all. So those are the foods that you're, those are the foods that you're addicted to and that you need to stay away from. And so there's all this marketing and propaganda about not eating meat, not eating eggs, all the bad things that cows do to the environment to keep you away from eating what's natural and healthy for your body. So the biggest mistake is not trying the carnivore diet, not giving it at least 30 days and not experience amazing things that could happen to you by eating this way. Just try it 30 days. And you, absolutely number one biggest mistake is to not try it, uh, to be scared of it, to be worried, to think that you're going to give yourself a heart attack. Look, just Google people on the carnivore diet or search on YouTube. You're going to see people are doing this for years and feel great and look great. And, but I don't really care about how they look, how they feel physically and mentally is crazy. And for you not to even want to experience that because of other information, or not even test it out or want to try it, that's the biggest mistake. So my number one biggest mistake, don't try it. <laughs> that's the number one biggest mistake. If you don't want to try the carnivore diet, that's the biggest mistake. And missed steak. Anyways, there you go. That's what I think. Those are my reasons. What are your reasons? What are big mistakes for you on the carnivore diet? What are mistakes people can make on the carnivore diet? Let me know in the comments. Thank you. Talk to you all later. Bye.